Well, it's one of those things. It's just a movie, and it's a movie that deals with real-life scenarios. See, I think most people watch these idealistic romantic comedies, and they get poisoned by the values that they spout. Okay, Sylvia, and what values did you learn from watching these kinds of movies? Nothing is as black and white as it seems. You guys have two bookshelves, but they're not necessarily in any order. Whose shelf is whose? And we're just going to keep them all together. Well, I just think we're the kind of people who like to keep our individuality. Well, maybe we're just not as modern as you two. Oh, uh, this is Luke. Hi, nice to meet you. Who's Jim? Sylvia. Hi. Elena's all right. What does Elena do, anyway? Some kind of nonprofit work. I, I never really paid attention. That's cool. Is it? Hey, guys. I'm Ronald. Just because we're modern doesn't mean that we're promiscuous. Promiscuity and fidelity aren't mutually exclusive. Aren't you guys in an open relationship? I don't know how long you guys have known Cassie, but she has changed a bit if she's hanging out with folks like you guys. Well, why do you say that? Well, she never used to hang out with people that lived a more loose lifestyle. Loose? You know, if people really wanted to protect the sanctity of marriage, they should recognize that 50% of all marriages in America end up in divorce. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. By the way, Sylvia, not swallowing doesn't make you any less of a whore. No, but it saves me the trouble of tasting something I don't want to taste. So you can tell a lot about a guy by how he firm tastes. How does he taste? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we can't be the first couple to be talking about this stuff, right? How many couples do you know that keep that fire lit forever? Are you saying you want to be in an open relationship? Are you? God, you went through so much trouble to make all of this. How can we make it up to you? Well, you know what? Let's eat and we'll figure out a way. Chin chin.